Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel here. Heir of Manor Lords. I guess heir of medieval. Okay, I'm, I'm not good at coming up with that for this game. You all have to help me. Um, but I'm excited for this one. I've had my eye on this game for a while. I, I am, of course, way too busy um, with things to kind of keep track in meticulous detail of the development of the game. But I've been quietly watching this one, interested, and for a couple of reasons. One, I like the setting. The medieval setting is kind of always a fun setting. Uh, even though it may not be my favorite historical setting. It's a fun one, uh, no doubt there. Um, but this is kind of more of an indie game that has been developed, and it looks like it was something uh, that the developer put a lot of pride and joy and, and love and sweat and tears into, and so it's just really interesting. It's a city builder. I love me a good city builder game, um, especially one that can be relaxing, and this game certainly has that capability, though it does have a combat element too that I'm very interested to get into. Now, I do not know much about this game. I have not played it prior to this point. I, I got hands on with it for maybe a couple of hours earlier today, and I'm going to still be learning. And I wanted to jump in here and learn with you. So this is not going to be some step by step how to become a pro because I don't know that yet. But if you were looking at this game and you're curious what it's like and you maybe want to see what it's like for a new player to take it on, then here you go, and I'm going to give you an honest look into that as I learn the game. Now, we do need to get our character set up here. There's a little bit of customization uh, up in the front of it. By the way, um, this is in early access still, so I appreciate the, the developers over at Hooded Horse um, granting me early access to this. this. is extremely kind of them. Definitely appreciate it, and like I said, I've looked forward to this one. So uh, we're going to have a Patchy Lord here. Um, or Lord Patchy, I guess we can, we can just go the opposite way. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get Lord Patchy. All right, so, and I, I gotta think which of these, like, best represents Patchy. And this guy, this guy's got a little bit of a Hannibal look going on here. Kind of look like Rome 2 Hannibal. And let's get ourselves, uh, we get to pick a coat of arms, by the way. So, lots of different designs. Kind of a fun way to just, like, you know, do something wacky here. I like it. Uh, I'll just go with the standard, you know, build-in shield here. And let's, let's do some traditional Carthage color. Let's maybe put, like, a white background. And then maybe the symbol we'll do in like a blue color uh, for like good old good old fashioned, you know, Rome Total War type stuff. Let's take a look at the symbols here. We got all kinds of cool designs in the background, by the way. Ooh, yeah, that's neat. I, I'm gonna go with the standard shield here. The moon's kind of Carthagey, you know what? But yeah, I like this. This is this is very vibing Carthage here. Um, so I think we're good. Let's go ahead and continue this. And what I'm going to do, I I do not know how to like play any sort of combat or anything yet, and I'm trying to kind of learn the systems in the game. And so I've picked Relaxing, and um, they have these different scenarios. There's Rise to Prosperity, um, there's Restoring the Peace, um, and then there's On the Edge. I'm just going to pick this Rise to Prosperity. It's on Relaxing. Again, I know this is easy. This is not supposed to be me showing off some kind of skill, because I don't have any yet. So this is a learn to play. Let's jump into it here and check it out. Man, I, I have to say, I love the music in the background of this game. It's It feels very period specific and it's just relaxing and nice. Definitely has a nice vibe to it. It's kind of simple, but uh, fits a theme here. All right, so let's read our new message. It says, where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. All right, so we need to become a large town. This is, I'm assuming, our city here, Nus Nuslo, or whatever. I, I think we can rename it. Oh, yeah. All right, Carthago Nova. Got to go with that. So we've renamed the region. Awesome. All right, so we got it. Um... So there's some basic resources. I'm going to pause it real quick. They go through some basic resources at the top. I'm still familiarizing myself with this. So I'm not going to know it perfectly, but we'll go through some of the ones I know. These are your unassigned um, residents, essentially, and it kind of goes by family. So we actually have a population of 10. It's five families at the moment. You can assign them to a certain job in a certain building. This tells you how much living space you have. Um, and then here again is that total population. Uh, it says five level one families, kind of just giving us an idea here. Um, and then uh, we have approval ratings here. 
um, which getting this higher is going to help you attract more people to want to live there. Public order, uh, we've got region wealth. This is going to be a bit of a currency that you use for certain things. Livestock, right now we have one ox who's going to be working for us. Here is that ox. Um, I think they even come with a name most of the time. Yeah, Hans is our uh, our livestock here. Um, we, oh yeah, we can we can name our our uh, oxen Hannibal. Um, so we've got Hannibal the ox here. <laughs> oh no, I didn't rename it. Hang on, maybe I have to hit like enter to save it. Yeah, let's see if that worked. Ah, it's not sticking. All right, well, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. We'll mess with it more later. Um, if you come over this little barrel here, it kind of lets you know how how much of a uh, store you have of resources, like how long it's going to last in case things get rough. And then when you come over here, there's like construction resources that it summarizes here, food resources, fuel, which is like fire, uh, firewood and coal, different crops, um, crafting materials, because there's a lot of different materials, commodities, um, so these are like trade good type things and commodities that can be put to certain use. And then military stuff, sidearms, bows, shields, spears, helmets, like all that kind of stuff. Um, so this this should be good. We're going to get things started here. If we take a look at our, uh, there's like a little homeless encampment. And uh, by the way, you can kind of pan the camera around. You can like come it up from more of a top view. You can get some really cool scenic views. This game is beautiful. It really is a pretty game. So again, very nice setting. It can be kind of a just a top down type game or you can play it a little more 3D. So it's been an interesting take on it. Um, we have a pile of logs and supplies here. I think there's going to be a few things we want to do right away. I'm going to hit the construction and we're going to need um, as far as logistics go. Uh, we're going to want a place to store some food so our food doesn't get ruined. Um, so I'm going to. Well, actually, we could build some roads even first, I think. Let's come here and take a look at the roads. All right, got it. It's teaching you how to build roads. I actually love the road builder so far in this game. It's very, uh, very easy and kind of intuitive. Like, so see here, I can just kind of keep adding in some roads. We'll kind of put some roads through town. It, I think it's showing us the contour of the land right there a little bit. Yeah, too. Looks like it. I'm just going to kind of build some main arteries here. You may have ways that you like to do this better. That's fine. But like I said, all right, we've got a little bit of main artery going in. So I'm going to set up some construction. I think we're going to want a, a granary to be able to store our stuff more uh, efficiently. Um, I think if we yeah, if we hold down the left click, we can rotate the building into the position that we want it and then we can place it. So I'm going to put our granary there and then um, I've got it. And I'm going to close this. Sorry, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons and I've got help things popping up. Um, and then I'm going to put in a storehouse. Now, this is just a kind of standard storehouse. See, when I push it up to the road, it kind of aligns like that. So that's a nice little touch there, too, as far as building goes. All right. So we've got a storehouse, um, a hitching post um, is kind of a nice place to, to put our ox. But we've already got that right here, so we don't need to build anything of the sort. Um, and then let's go back into our construction. Uh, let's set up a barter connection allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. We don't have any other regions in our command, so this isn't uh, necessary right now. Now, let's go ahead and think of a few other things. We're going to need housing. So right here, this bridge plot, level one. And it kind of gives you a quick rundown of how you can piece these together, rotate them, select how many houses go in it. It's really quite neat. Let's take a look at it in action. So see, I'm kind of dragging it along. We need at least five homes. Uh, to start with, so I'm going to draw this out. Give my folks uh, a nice, nice little plot to start out in here. Not enough goods. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough goods. That's fine. I'm going to reduce the plot divisions. See, that's six and then that's five. And I'm going to hit build here. Let's start with this. So let's go ahead and push the play button. We're going to go to normal speed. It tells you the month that you're in down in the bottom right. Uh, you have different overlays here where you can look for underground water. You can look at your fertility. Oof. Unfortunately for me, fertility is quite poor in this area. So that is not great. Um, can't say that I'm I'm thrilled about that. 
which means getting a field going is not going to be easy, but really nothing around me seemed particularly fertile, so that is unfortunate. Here's our map. You can look at kind of a region map, by the way, if you have other holdings, but all of this right here is Carthago Nova, so... All right, let's get back down into our settlements, which I believe is right down here. Our folks are going to start building. It's really cool, by the way. You can zoom all the way down into it. They do all the work. You know, when you go down and, and take a quick look, they have to carry around all the supplies, move the logs. They use the ox to pull stuff around. So you, you really kind of have to make sure that your logistics is in a good place here um, as the game goes on. And I'm excited to learn more about it. But, you know, you can kind of see how things progress there. They're building the granary was my first order. And then see they're over here laying logs for the storehouse. And then they're going to start laying them for the homes over here as well. And I can assign workers uh, to the storehouse and to the uh, granary. So like, for instance, I've got five workers right now and you need free work. Uh, you need unassigned workers to be able to do construction. So having a, 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 you know, a few unassigned is not a terrible thing. But I'm going to go ahead and assign a worker to the storehouse and the granary. And we finished our first uh, bit of housing here. And then we're working on more. So you can see those coming along nicely. Our folks are going to want water. I mean, imagine that people actually need water to live. I know it's a luxury. I can't believe I'm going to actually provide it for him. But let's put a well in here. It says you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. All right, so we need to build a logging camp. I may have already built too much stuff before we built the logging camp. So I may have already screwed up. Uh, let's go into construction here and let's do the... Uh, logging camp and we'll want to put the logging camp out near plenty of wood we do not have enough goods for the logging camp so let's demolish that my other demolish I should have thought about this before we did the demolish all right now I should be able to build the logging camp let's get back into construction yep there we go Let's put our logging camp right here. That's fairly close to the woods. And then let's take a look at our roads again. They're going to finish the second bit of housing. And then we'll start to improve that homelessness. It'll help our approval rating as we have less people homeless. And then we can start providing for their needs, hopefully. I am a little bit concerned about the farming situation. In my little practice run earlier, the fertility was quite a lot better. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. We got our burrage plots going. Um, our granary is finished and it's being loaded up. We want to we want to load these goods into the pan uh, the granary. We don't want them out here in the weather where the weather can destroy it. Same thing with our supplies. We want to get all this stuff loaded up. And you can see here's the new construction site. We still got three workers unassigned. You can improve um, these little uh, home sites here as well. So like we can put chickens, uh, goats to get hides, vegetables, um, and it's going to cost you some of your uh, regional wealth here. And we can obtain regional wealth by trading other goods uh, as well. So, but we have a hundred to start with that we can kind of put to use here. And you know, having a little vegetable garden in the back of these is probably not going to be a bad thing. So let's get that started. Again, maybe it is a bad thing. I am still learning the game. If you know otherwise, feel free to leave comments. I will absolutely be paying attention to the comments. And if you all feel like you notice something that I don't along the way, again, please let me know. Still learning. But again, man, this this vibe. Isn't this such a sweet vibe? I wonder if there's like a UI off key binding here. Let's go to the controls and look. See, I haven't even looked for this yet. Let me tap. Uh, cinematic mode control C I think that's it yeah check it out there we go so you can really get down into the the nature of this here that is oh man that's cool I need to drill holes for pegs. Oh, you can hear him like talking like all the little hammer noises and stuff too that is so neat here's our burge plots Hey, I just built a small garden today and I'm dying, so props to this uh, this person here. It's a pretty good sized garden. All right, let's head back out of here. Anyway, nice cinematic mode. I very much enjoy that. 
So the logging camp's under construction. Our well is now finished, so our folks have access to water. Lucky. <laughs> Air giving you the necessities of life. What is this backwards land? I'm going to fast forward a bit, get our logging camp, uh, because we are going to need to assign a worker there and start to gather in logs. Now, not the type of logs it generated from us eating too much at the tavern or the banquet hall, but obviously the logs used for construction. All right. So there we go. Now that we have built a logging camp and we have an assigned someone to work, I think we should build the rest of our burrage plots here. So I'm going to head back into housing and we're going to come over here to residential. I'm going to finish building these. We'll put three more here, I think. I like this feature. I know we don't have enough goods. It's understood. But we should have six soon. Right now we've got timber. We have five and someone should be working the woods. Yeah, we've got someone out in the woods. Oi, peasants, cut faster. <laughs> have you all ever had to go out and like chop a tree with an axe? Now, it may be different. Different people live. Maybe you have some nice soft pine trees or something. That is not the case where I live. It is like big white oaks and hickories and really hard woods. And I thought it would be cute when I bought some property to be able to cut down, you know, a tree that was about to fall. And I was like, you know what? I'll use the ax and we'll just get this taken care of. I got absolutely nowhere. The ax was bouncing off of it like it was made out of rubber. It was insane. I sharpened it, did everything I could. It was just, it wasn't going anywhere. So I have some, some major respect. <laughs> These guys, if this is like big hardwood, taking that down with an ax. Um, I have a chainsaw even, and I used the chainsaw and I was getting a hold of this one tree that had fallen and it dulled my chainsaw blade just to go through the one tree, or sorry, the chainsaw chain just to go through the one tree. I had to then turn around and sharpen the chain. It was insane. So again, I, my respect for lumberjacks, both past and present, has increased significantly in my very short, um, unlearned time. Right, we still only got five timber. We're waiting for them to gather in some more logs. Uh, we're going to want to have enough food. Right now we have enough for seven months. We've got 15 months worth of firewood. But we will need to gather firewood as well. And I want to get our housing finished first. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and build like one burrage plot at a time. Um, but I kind of would like to do it all. And I think these guys are going to gather us in a log here soon. Yep, now we've got the timber. Uh, because they are working that. So let's go ahead and finish building these birch plots. And again, like I said, if you know more about the game, if you've learned some things, if you've been watching videos and you feel like you know, let me know a few things. I am happy to learn. There we go. See, it's such a neat little building system. I like that. It's handy, easy to use. And I'm going to extend our road out here. There we go. All right, so we got roads connecting these. Make it a little easier for people to get around when they're pulling their carts, doing their work. All right, so now that we've got that set up, I need to get a little bit of timber put together. And let's get back into our construction. We're going to want firewood, especially with the winter coming up. We're going to want food. Um, farming does not look good right now because our... Yeah, Lee, our fertility is just not looking good. It is like poor fertility all over here like this they got the fertile parcel over here that looks more like what i messed with earlier in the game so yikes um maybe if we make a field and we let it lay fallow for a while it perhaps could improve fertility. i don't know if it would go better than what it is now but i don't really have the people to manage that at the moment we are going to need more people so we need to get the houses built and then we need to build an extra house and we're going to have to get people doing some gathering from the uh, the woods. So we may want to go ahead and start on that if we've picked up more timber, which we have not yet. So I'm going to fast forward again until we get a little more timber on hand. We've got two on hand, three. There we go. All right, so we've got a little bit more timber. Let's head back into our gathering options here. Um, you can use a forester's hut to plant new trees. Um, a saw pit will help saw up timber into planks where you can build a little bit more refined buildings. This is our firewood. We're definitely going to need firewood. 
Um, and then we're also going to need to gather. So we got the hunter's camp here where we can get raw or sorry, wild animals. And if I take a look around, uh, we do have wild animals way off over here. Clay deposits, berry deposits. Not a whole lot of food right next to us. So this is going to be interesting. There's a stone deposit there. Um, there's a road right up here that we can connect to. Let's... Kind of connect these roads on through here. And then we have this road going through. I'm going to... It's going to be a long ways off, but I kind of want to build a couple of things over here. I feel like we need to construct a hunting camp. And it would be good to have a forager hut as well. Those are a good ways out there. People are going to have to do a, a good walk. I'm going to fast forward. And then we're also going to need to gather firewood. I don't know how smart it is to be building this far away, but you know what? There's one way to learn. I'm going to just give it a shot. I'm going to build this stuff further out of town here. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to get all those things built. I don't know if I can assign something to everybody yet. Um, we did get the storehouse loaded up with goods. Get our logging camp. Probably don't have to have someone sitting in the granary at the moment. But we will deal with that in a moment. See, it's raining now. It's a good thing we got everything put up. The bad weather can actually ruin the goods that we have if we leave them out. All right, we're on our final house here, so we will end homelessness in Carthago Nova. That is an accomplishment. And we're starting to pile up some timber. I'm going to actually go ahead and set up some construction to add housing and hopefully attract our first new settlers here. Let's build like at least two new ones. It has three and we can afford the three. So let's go ahead and set up three new sites here. Awesome. So our approval rating, we got to get it up over 50. And we're also going to need a market um, so that people can bring their goods to market. And this might not be a bad place for a market right here by the houses right here in the town. So let's go into construction. Go into industry. Uh, it's not industry. Sorry. I think it is residential and it is. Well, nope, 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 nope. It's not there. Where was it? I've seen it. I shall remember one of these years. Uh, yeah, marketplace. There it was. I'm going to build it in here. We've got plenty of place for market stalls. All right. So it talks about supply and demand. It says a well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Signed families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space in the market. Hover over the specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Bridge plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. All right, got it. Well, I say got it. I, I probably still have a lot to learn. Look, people already have a firewood stall and a food stall. So that is fantastic news for us. I am going to use one of these other verge plots here. We have a little bit of uh, regional wealth. We could get some eggs going. Um, we're going to be getting hides from the hunting. Let's maybe do another chicken coop. And let's see if we can drop in another vegetable garden here. We definitely want to have food. Again, I'm going to go ahead and use up most of my wealth here. I'm going to let, let that be good for now. We'll see whether or not that ends up being a good idea. How are we doing on construction out here? We have a hunting camp now. And we also have a woodcutter's lodge, so we can begin cutting firewood soon. We don't have a lot of firewood, so we might want to get that started. We don't really have a ton of food either, so... There's no unassigned families for construction, so let's take this and let's take the worker out of the granary for now and out of the storehouse for now. And then hopefully we'll attract some, some new folks here. We've got a marketplace, we've got 
housing available if anybody needs to use it. Disease. Says people suffering disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed the recovery. Well, I don't have that access at the moment. All right, we have plenty of housing. What other needs can we help provide for the people? So they want a church. Clothing supplies would be good. Um, so there's still a little bit of work for us to do. Oh, new families moved in. Fantastic. Got a forager hut. Let's assign someone there. I'm going to assign another hunter. We need at least one person free to do construction. But that means that we should probably go ahead and build another house so we can get more people here as well. Let's head into our construction. Let's build some more plots. I build that there. I don't know if it's going to... Look how cool that is. How you can kind of like bring it alongside there. All right, there we go. We'll construct a few new plots. Those are pretty large, but should be all right. We've still got, like I said, our one person is free, so that's good. Little marketplace running. Oh, look at that. We're up to 51% approval. We went up, not down. That's a happy day for me. We are starting to get firewood into the storage. We'll want to get people working in those other storages, though, so they can help move stuff back into our storehouses. But regardless, here we go. We've got our forager's hut being worked. I'll need to work out fields and other stuff, but I may wait until next year to, to mess with fields. But I feel like we're off to a decent start. We've attracted some growth. All right. Hopefully we can continue to attract a little growth. We're not over 50% now, though, so let's hopefully get that up. But when we look at the other accommodations, we need to build a church. Um, and we need to uh, work on set food stall supplies. We just need to work on supplying more food, fuel, and other necessities. All right, so we've got plenty of places to live. We've got two unassigned families at the moment. Um, let's see, let's get someone. Let's go ahead and have someone work that storehouse. And then we need to get also a saw pit set up. I'm going to set up that saw pit so that we can make some planks. And uh, how many... Do we have any planks? I don't think we have any planks on hand. I need to get some planks put together so that we can... Oh, do we have a skill point? We can improve our trapping, our forest management. Sheep breeding. Heavy plow. Orchardry produces apples. Apple in September... Trade logistics. Always cost a maximum of 25 regional wealth, foreign supplies. New building, firewood cart, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. The region does not pay the transport fee. I am just not really familiar with how well uh, doubles the capacity of buried deposits. Um... Let's try this to get a passive income of meat. We don't have great farms, so I don't know. Maybe I'm making the right choices. Maybe I am not. I just do not know. I think there's people living in each one of these. Nope. Residing families. Okay, yeah. So we have empty housing still, so that is good. So we can increase our population. Um, and the better that we do here, the more likely it is that we might actually pull in someone new. Our marketplace going. Right, so 
food, clothing. We're going to need to get clothing and other stuff eventually as well. Okay, look, sweet. We got another family that moved in. Uh, that means I can put someone to work in the saw pit here. And now we can start producing planks. And then I'm going to build a church. And we're going to put someone to work in the church. That will provide another um, a bit of an amenity that our citizens desire at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and plot in some roads here. And that way we've got... a little bit of area set up to work with. Awesome. So our saw pit is working. We now have planks. Let's get into our construction. And was it under residential? Yes, we can now build a wooden church. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess this looks like a pretty decent place for the church. Let's build it there. This ought to improve our approval rating. How are we doing still as people? Okay, yeah, so we still have empty housing. It can accommodate up to 11 families, and right now we have 8 level 1 families. Okay. I do not know much about this mercenary companies, stuff like that. A uh, new family started moving in. Sweet! So we've got another family that can be assigned. We can have them assigned to work at the church. It's actually just in time. Only got four months of fuel, four months of food. So we may want to start working to improve our intake of food. We've got two people in the hunting lodge here. And then the forager hut only has one. Wild animals and buried deposit. Pretty significant buried deposit there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get our socket rolling. We're working on the church. Yeah, let's get the church up and running. I'm going to fast forward till it's up and going. And then that ought to hopefully fairly significantly improve the way our folks are feeling about life here. At least everybody's got a roof over their head at this point. I feel like that's an accomplishment for me in and of itself. And I like this. This is just such a nice, calm vibe. And like the... Man, it looks good. It's a fun game. Enjoying this so far. Um, I'm not allowed to give you any final reviews, nor could I, because I haven't played it long enough. I'm assuming that I can give you my impressions as I play. I definitely like the looks and the chill vibe, at least so far. It might be more fun to have a crazy vibe later once I'm ready for combat. But this is this is definitely satisfying sitting city building at the moment. All right, so our church is coming along very nicely. It is September now. We don't have any fields to harvest, unfortunately. But maybe next year. I might have to look into seeing whether or not you can improve the. Uh... Where's the overlay? Oh. I don't remember where we had that nice overlay pop up. Army construction roads, settings. Yeah, I'm not sure how we got that cool overlay to pop up. I'll have to look around and see if I can find it again. The one that was showing me the uh, soil and stuff. Let's fast forward until our church is done and then see what that does for our approval. We're up to 56%. Things are growing because I think we're, we're starting to bring in maybe a bit of food diversity here. We've got bread, vegetables. We need more meat. We've got a little bit of eggs coming in. Um, from our chicken coop. Some berries. So, I mean, we'll have a slight variety of food. Our church now is up and running. We can assign one of those families to work it. And now that should start providing... Yep, see the church level. So we've got the appropriate church here. Yep, and then our approval is going up, and now we should be able to start fill uh, fill up some of these houses. And with more workers, hopefully we can start gathering some more food. And then we can work on some other things. If my fertility isn't really good, I could look at um, trying to ranch, maybe, I guess. I'll have to check into it here. I mean, we, we can see what the fields do. But it's a lot of work to get a farm field plowed and planted. And all that kind of stuff. Ooh, our approval just dropped right there. Um... Hopefully we'll get it back up here. 
As we bring in more people, obviously we're going to need more resources. Let's um, go back down to standard speed here. We got five months of food, four months of fuel. Might go ahead and bring in another woodcutter. And we've got three people working the different camps at the moment. See what these folks are doing. Yeah, it looks like carrying supplies back and forth. This is a long ways to carry stuff back and forth. I kind of hate that. Like, I probably should have built more over here. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is at this point. We're going to have a very long supply chain pulling things back. Fortunately, we've got some of these vegetable gardens going back here, which should should help us out as well as in terms of just getting some food and then the, the chicken coop here too. We've got three stalls now at the market. Look at us, how fancy we are. We got firewood and two food stalls, I believe. So not quite a bustling market, but it is a market. And we continue to maintain approval level. We've got 10 families now. We've got room for one more family, I believe. We're going to need to put up some regional wealth as well. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to need something to trade. Um, probably planks, um, I would think, would be something we could we could trade. But I could go ahead and build a trading post, uh, though we won't be able to use it yet. But I think I'm going to probably go ahead and call it good for this episode. And uh, we're going to pick up another episode soon. And what we'll do next time is we'll try and get some uh, some trade going. And so, like, here's our trading post. And I... I want to get a trading post set up here. Uh, you know what? This will work right here. So we'll start building the trading post. Um, we'll hopefully get another family in here soon. And when we do, we'll uh, put someone to work in the trading post and we'll see whether we can start building up a little bit of regional wealth so that we can use that regional wealth to maybe improve, you know, our burrage plots here um, and potentially be able to go buy livestock and other things, maybe get a, a sheep farm or something else going. We're going to want to get clothes. We're going to want to secure better food, different sources of food. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do, but I mean, it's been interesting so far. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Um, I'm certainly uh, interested to see where all this game goes. So let me know what you uh, think down in the comments. I will be showing more. Uh, I'm obviously busy too, uh, getting ready for content coming up for the new Thrones of Decay. Um, for Total War Warhammer 3, but I, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to jump into Manor Lords and let you all see uh, this beautiful medieval city building game here. So hope you've enjoyed the first look, and I will see you soon with some more action from Manor Lords.